you guys and welcome to Saints TV. Uh, it's like 8 o'clock now and I'm just driving back from the game and round one, first game, first win, that's all you can kind of ask for. Um, it wasn't as, I guess it was kind of exactly how I was, I was expecting it to go. I felt like Brisbane were always going to be somewhat in the game and it, we just needed to really you know, kind of take what they were going to offer us and obviously their first game of the season with a lot of young new players, including the number one pick, Rayner, who was quite good. Um, so they're always going to feel like they're in with the chance and I think um, with the start that we had, we couldn't have asked for a better first quarter. Um, six goals, four, I think it was. So 10 scoring shots, 19 points up. I think the disappointing thing was the second and third quarters um, in particular for me. Our kicking and our handballing was quite shocking. Um, too many players were calling for handballs in wrong positions when they were not in the clear, when they were surrounded by Brisbane players and they got the handball because they called for it um, and then they immediately turned it over because they put themselves under their own pressure and they had to quickly rush a handball and give it back. So I felt like in the last quarter, particularly the last 15 minutes of the game, we started kicking it more, we started hitting targets more, which we didn't do for a lot of the game. Uh, I think at halftime our kick to handball ratio was 111 kicks to 97 handballs, so it's nearly 50% each, and that's just way too high. We want to be, be we want to be a more aggressive kicking team. I did like that any time we we're around the boundary, we tried to cut into the middle, but it needs to be at a very particular moment because a lot of the times we tried to go central and we just turned it over and we just chose the wrong kick. I think. Ben Long at, in the third or fourth quarters turned it over, trying to do exactly that, trying to be really aggressive. And I mean, I like that our, our team's trying to do that, but there's a time and a place to do that. I think the positives for me were Jack Steven is just an absolute superstar. When we needed him, he got up, kicked those two late goals in the third quarter to really get that little bridge of a gap that we needed going into the last and that confidence for the rest of the team. Because Brisbane were coming, they hit the front, they got six or seven points up, they were full of run, and then Jack Stephen kicked two goals and really stabilised the team. Blake Akers, oh, that's probably one of his best games for the Saints, especially round one where there's been a lot of talk around him and around a lot of other players that could go to that next level. He, I think he had roughly 30 and kicked one or two goals set up a few others. Ben Long was quite good. I thought Hunter Clark in his first game showed a lot. Um, anytime he got the ball, he seemed to not panic and he, he had a bit of composure about himself on left and right side of his foot. So good to see that he can kick both sides. Um, in defense, still a bit shaky at times, pushing up very aggressively. That's one thing about our, our game plan from a couple of years, last couple of years, is that we like to run at the man and sacrifice our man to go and go for the next ball. But if there's any teams that are good enough, and they were the Lions were good enough in moments to do this, all you do is draw the St Kilda play, go over the top, draw him again, go over the top. So you continually, like a domino, you continually have that next option that just keeps falling. And they did that in the third quarter, and you could see how they got through us really easily. So. I mean, it's only round one, so I'm just glad that we got the bloody win. We're second on the ladder, so <laughs> it's been a while since I've been there. You know, get on the bandwagon, everyone. One game down, so, you know, flag favourites. But um, I, I didn't mind it. We play North Melbourne at like 4.20 on Easter Friday coming up, or Good Friday, and um, that should be a comfortable win. They're playing Gold Coast at the moment. I think they're leading them by a couple of goals, so hopefully that game is a struggle for them, and they can come back to Melbourne, and hopefully we can get another percentage booster before we play Adelaide. So... Overall, I didn't mind it. McCartan was a disappointment for me. Let me know what you guys think. I don't think there's going to be many changes for the next game. I feel like we should give the guys a consistent run. McCartan should get another couple of games. I think um, Ben Long should get another, another couple of games. And uh, It just depends on how Sandringham went and how um, how they performed. And if there's anyone knocking the door, that Coffield could be one that could be interesting. Whether we try and um, you know sacrifice. There's another small, uh, hopefully not a Ben Long, to bring him in. Um, but we'll wait and see. Anyway, guys, that's me. That's that's Saints TV for the first game, the first review. We won by 25 points that Eddie had in front of a huge crowd of 23,000 people. Hopefully we get more on Friday, but it's in North Melbourne, so I'm probably not going to back that. Um, please like, comment, subscribe. Tell me your thoughts on the game. Who, who, who was your standout? I think it was Blake Akers for me. Jack Steven, you kind of expect that from him because he's, he's such a great player for us. Um, oh, there's a fair bit of lightning going on. Um, but I think for me, yeah, definitely Blake Akers. Uh, there was a lot of good plays. Jack, Jack um, Billings, 
uh, Jade Gresham as well. There was a few there that really bobbed up, and it was good not to say that it was the ones that we expected. It was a couple of the lesser likes, like I had in my preview video, that really needed to get going, and they did do that, especially when we needed them. So that was the positive thing, was that we were challenged, but we responded, and we got the win. And that's what, hopefully, a good team does. So that's it from me, guys. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you for the preview of the North Melbourne game, which will come up in a few days' time. See you then.